I want to make a racing game. Do I know how? No! Do I have any experience in making 3D games? Also no! So in today's video I will be attempting to make the best racing game ever! Are you sure about that? After I made the project I saw that I would definitely need more space so I made the layout bigger. And if we're making a racing game, we will probably need a car, that's why I made a new 3D object and gave it the car behavior, which literally makes your object a car. How cool is that? After playing with the car for a while, I made a temporary ground texture so it would be easier to see in the 3D space. Speaking of 3D space, I made a 3D camera that would be attached to the front of our car, giving us the first person view. I tweaked the car so it would control the way I want and started making the first texture, the road. After putting it into the game, I had to know how to make the turns because just rotating the road obviously didn't work. I also made the car red, I guess I didn't like the stock dice texture. I didn't want the road to be floating in space so I created a grass texture and placed it below the pavement. I did add light blue fog to serve as the sky but I will replace it later in the video. So right now you can just drive wherever you want so I added barriers by creating the texture and making them solid and for the turns I just rotated the barriers. The stock controls for this game right now are the arrow keys and as you might know they are trash. So I made the game use the WASD controls and while I was there I made the speed change to be slower when you are in reverse. Before I start making the track layout I wanted to add some decorations, for example a tree. I did spend quite a while on this texture because I wanted it to look good enough to be copied a bunch of times. Once I added the texture into the game, I had this weird outline glitch around the tree that I couldn't remove unless I had a skybox, which I will add, but not now. I wanted the tree to face you no matter what angle you looked at it, but I just couldn't get it to work. I placed some trees alongside the road and then I discovered that you can edit the terrain. Look, if you select the texture and click create mesh, you can change the height of every mesh point. But just don't drive into the raise part. I moved the track a little bit to the right so you can't see the edge of the map by just turning around and closed up the start. But what really are we driving? If it's the first person view we have to be seeing some interior, right? So I decided that I will be drawing a car's interior which took me way longer than I thought it would. I drew the steering wheel on different layers so it would be easier to animate. I animated by rotating the wheel a little bit for every frame. I added a new UI layer on which I will be placing the interior texture. I made every animation usable and after a bit of coding it finally worked. I added the skybox into the game by making giant 3D objects that are facing the layout. Then I found the effects button and there were so many effects I knew I had to try them all. Eventually I settled down on a slight vignette effect because it gave more depth to the car. Now all that was really left to do was finish the track. If it weren't for this glitch. To be honest, I sat there for hours not knowing how to fix it and no matter what I did, it just kept happening. It seems that the car was too slippery and I just had to make it grippier. Now I just had to make the track, it was pretty easy but also really time consuming.
Now I made a start and finish line. The start line is for starting a timer and the finish line is for stopping it. Because without the timer there would be no real reason to play it more than once. I've been getting a bunch of comments with people wanting to play the games I make. It's reasonable cause why would I be making games that people can't even play? So I listened and put the link to play the game in the description. And while you're there, please click the subscribe button. Oh yeah, the game is finished. So, uh, you move with the WASD keys, there's, there's a start line and when you cross it, the timer starts. So now I have to, I have to finish this track as fast as possible. Yeah, I just ran the wall. As you might see, I am really good at this because I had to test the game a lot. A lot of people ask what I use to make these games and it's Construct 3. Um, it's a game making engine where you don't even need coding. And you, you don't need coding to use Construct 3. Why am I not moving? And there's the finish line. Hell yeah, okay. 53 seconds. So let's see if we can beat that. Oh, I just took a giant shortcut and ran the wall. Oh my, only 28 seconds. Oh my god.